Microsoft has announced the launch of Copilot Plus PCs, featuring advanced AI capabilities set to rival tech giants Alphabet and Apple. Introduced by CEO Satya Nadella, these PCs aim to enhance user experience with features like Recall for tracking all PC activities and an AI assistant for gaming. Developed in collaboration with leading manufacturers and equipped with Qualcomm's latest chips, these PCs are a significant step towards integrating AI in personal computing. Sales projections are set at 50 million units over the next year. Copilot Plus PCs are launching on June 18th, signalling a major advancement in the PC market. Jeffrey Hinton, a leading figure in AI, expresses deep concerns about the technology's impact on the job market, advocating for a universal basic income as a potential solution to job displacement. He warns that while AI will increase productivity and wealth, it may also exacerbate income inequality. In a related experiment by Sam Altman of OpenAI, an alternative form of universal basic income using AI, like GPT-7, is proposed, allowing individuals to use or trade their shares for various purposes. Meanwhile, Altman emphasizes the underestimated socioeconomic changes driven by rapid AI development, considering them a significant future challenge. Scarlett Johansson has raised concerns against OpenAI, asserting that a voice in their ChatGPT application, named Sky, sounded eerily similar to her own despite her refusal to collaborate. She engaged legal counsel to address this use, leading OpenAI under CEO Sam Altman to replace the voice out of respect for Johansson's claims. This incident highlights ongoing issues surrounding deep fakes and identity rights in AI advancements. The European Commission has issued a warning to Microsoft, demanding clarity on the risks associated with generative AI in its Bing search engine. With a looming deadline of May 27, Microsoft could face fines if it fails to address concerns over potential deep fakes and voter manipulation. This action underscores the Commission's enhanced focus on safeguarding democratic processes ahead of the European parliamentary elections in June. At Cannes, Polish director Patrick Vega unveils a film featuring a deepfake Putin. Unnervingly realistic, the AI-created face of Putin acts through a biopic that covers his life and imagines his end. Already sold in 50 countries, this bold use of technology highlights both creative possibilities and industry fears as AI continues to reshape filmmaking. Premiere set for September. In a major move to protect its music catalogue, Sony Music Group has sent warnings to over 700 technology firms, urging them not to use its music to train artificial intelligence without permission. Highlighting the value of AI in music but emphasising artists' rights and revenues, Sony demands these companies account for their use of its content, including songs, artwork and lyrics. The company's actions come amid increasing concerns over copyright issues with AI music on platforms like Spotify and legislative moves towards greater AI transparency. Google DeepMind introduces the Frontier Safety Framework to address future risks from advanced AI capabilities. This proactive set of protocols aims to identify, evaluate and mitigate severe harm from potent AI models, enhancing our current safety practices. The framework, evolving from ongoing research and collaborations, ensures AI advances align with human values and broad societal goals. Scheduled for full implementation by early 2025, it promises responsible AI development with extensive industry, academia and government partnerships. Introducing XFinder, the new benchmark in large language model evaluation. Designed to outperform traditional methods, XFinder boasts a robust answer extraction capability, demonstrating a 93.42% accuracy rate, significantly higher than the 74.38% offered by regex models. Its creation was supported by the specialized Key Answer Finder dataset, ensuring its effectiveness and reliability in real-world applications. 
Exploring the realistic evaluation of toxicity in large language models, this study introduces the thoroughly engineered toxicity dataset, revealing critical flaws in current safety measures. The dataset, compiled from real-world interactions, exposes the vulnerability of these models to jailbreak prompts that bypass standard defenses, underscoring the need for more authentic testing environments to truly assess the potential harms of these technologies.